Right, so one of the biggest complaints I get from drivers is they have knee pain or struggle with knee pain. So when I'm always requesting squats, because it's the number one exercise you can do to prolong life, fight disease, a lot of drivers tell me I can't squat or it hurts to squat or it hurts to get in out of my truck because of knee pain. So I'm going to give you three quick exercises that you can do to help alleviate that pain. All right, part one is using a massage stick or a soft tissue stick. You can get these at any sporting goods store. You could actually buy them at our terminals as well. Um, so easily accessible and inexpensive. What you want to do is massage the tissue on the outside of the leg and putting a lot of pressure on there, as much as you can tolerate, massaging back and forth. If you find a specific knot that really hurts, like if I find something here, then you're going to bend and extend the leg a few times and then go back over and massage. This is getting all that tight tissue that if you've had an injury, um, a lot of the tissue kind of really tightens up to protect it, but it now starts to pull the joint and that's where the knee pain comes. So the outside is the IT band. You're going to do the inside of the leg as well, inside of the thigh. Again, putting good pressure on there. And probably about 30 seconds to a minute with each one of these. Again, if I find something, I'm going to extend and flex the knee and then go back over a few more times. So you're doing the outside IT band, the inner thigh, and then you're going to do the calf. Because again, this is really related to the knee. So make sure you do your calf if you find a good knot in there. And then you're going to flex and extend the foot several times. And then go back and massage it over. So that's part one. You're going to really loosen the tissue up, get rid of all the adhesions and toxins in there. All right, part two is stretching the leg or the muscles around the knee. We're going to start with the back, which is the hamstring. You can find something to balance on and then lift your leg up to whatever level that you can tolerate some of the stretching here. You're going to take the opposite hand and reach across the ankle and then come back. Across the ankle and come back. So you get a little bit of rotation in the stretching of the hamstring, which is going to help alleviate some of that knee pain. Suggesting 10 to 15 times. And as you're done with that, then you're going to stretch the front of the leg that attaches to the knee, which is the quadricep. Go ahead and pull the leg, drive your hip forward and stand nice and tall holding that for about 30 seconds. If you can't reach your foot, use a towel or a band or something to help you grab the foot and just hold it there and get a good stretch. And that's part two. Part three is mobility and strength of the knee. So for example, if I have my right knees in aches and pains, I'm going to draw circles with it just to loosen it up and putting the weight on it. So about 10 circles in one direction, 10 circles in the other direction. Make sure you stay pain-free when you're doing this. You want to put a little bit of weight, but not too much, as long as you stay pain-free. Once you've mobilized it, then you want to strengthen it with balance. So hold, hold on to something, and then lift one, the opposite leg up, and you're going to squat back down and up. Make sure you shift the hips way back, keep the weight in the heel, and then press up. And again, 10 to 15 reps, or whatever you feel like you have strength that you're able to do. Maybe it's just five reps now, but build your strength up there. And this will start strengthening the knee and the stabilizers around the knee. Once you feel comfortable and getting stronger, try to do it without holding on. And that'll really start recruiting more muscles around the knee and protecting it and making it stronger and pain-free.